Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Uh, we are doing the big rig group build, and this is going to be episode number one. Uh, this is hosted by Thomas Soltis and Jeff's Model Garage. Um, as you can see in front of you, we have the engine completed for the uh, Mac R685ST truck. And uh, what I basically uh, used was a total of five different paints uh, to apply to the engine itself. Uh, I basically started off with airbrushing the uh, a gray Craftsmart acrylic paint. Let's see if we can bring this in the picture. That is that. And then we went ahead with airbrushing the uh, bright gold Craftsmart metallic paint. And that's basically what that looks like right there. And <clears throat> for like the little filters and stuff like that, you see the little green there. Uh, we used the green Craftsmart metallic paint for that as well. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and use this for the uh, cab and hood for the uh, truck itself as well. So it's a nice green color. And of course with the fan belt itself, uh, we went back to our standard uh, black Craftsmart satin acrylic paint and hand brushed that in. And just for little accent touches, like for the little uh, filler cap and the uh, part of the fan, we went ahead and applied the folk art uh, silver sterling metallic paint for that so uh, that is what we have on the engine I'll kind of give you a quick little 360 here turn and uh, came out real nice uh, I did go ahead I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not but uh, for the, uh, let me take a look here real quick. Uh, for the exhaust manifolds, uh, I actually applied some of the uh, Sharpie metallic bronze uh, on it just to kind of uh, get a little uh, accent uh, on the engine itself. So uh, that has been applied. And uh, with that being said, We'll go ahead and kind of move this off to the side and we can talk about the uh, chassis that I am currently putting together. And uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and bring that into the picture. Uh, so this is what I've been kind of working on. Of course we have this, uh, it's upside down. So basically we go like that. And uh, you can see we went ahead and uh, put all the uh, cross members in first. And then as well as the uh, anti-lock wheels as well. And also, the, of course, we see the two air supply tanks on either side of the frame of the chassis. Like so. And we get a closer look here. We also uh, uh, basically added on the front suspension as well. Uh, so you can see all the uh, parts that went into that with the uh, basically the uh, uh, front uh, shocks, the uh, air brake mounts. Uh, we have the front backing plates, the of course the brake cylinders and the brake mounts themselves. And we have the uh, front axle and the tie rod is in place and we have another crossbar that goes uh, between the uh, two uh, front springs and uh, so you can see a lot of different parts uh, coming together here on the front part of the chassis so basically that's what I've been working on uh, last couple days here so uh, that is nicely lined up, as you can see, right straight down the line. And uh, I went ahead and did mock up one of the uh, wheels themselves. Uh, I did uh, trim out the uh, core of the tire itself. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, 
uh, Disco Dave's uh, Styrene Mayhem uh, for giving me some info on uh, how to uh, uh, cut out the core uh, so that the wheels for the kit uh, fits in there a little bit nicely and more snug. So thank you very much, Dave, on that. And uh, what I've been doing basically is uh, using the wheel for the, uh, so this is going to be the front wheel. And we basically, I use that just to kind of help line things up there, especially with the uh, brake cylinders and brake mounts, as you can see right there. And uh, just to make sure everything's aligned and, and it's looking good. So uh, <clears throat> basically that's what I've been working on, like I said, for the last uh, few days. Uh, I am uh, back to work. I was on medical leave for a couple months and I started back to work this week. So uh, like I said, I will be going back to uh, updating my videos uh, probably on the weekends again uh, and uh, kind of go from there. But uh, really enjoying this build. I'm learning a lot. Uh, this is actually my first truck, uh, I believe, that I've ever built. So, uh, so like I said, I'm having fun with it and learning a lot about all the different parts that actually go into a truck itself. But uh, there you go. So uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and wrap this thing up for uh, this episode. And uh, we will catch with you guys later on. For, uh, next week for another update uh, like I said the engine the chassis and the front suspension is now 100% complete and our next uh, uh, time that we'll have our next episode we'll be working on the rear suspension and possibly the engine to the chassis part uh, as far as the next step in the instructions so uh, until then everybody have a good weekend and we will catch you on the next segment all right have a good day and We'll catch you later. Bye.